From Pilgrim School in Los Angeles, California, this is The Ship's Inn. Thank you for joining us this week. Last Friday was Multicultural Day, where students enjoyed a discussion panel and an international potluck with myriad types of food. It was great. And just a reminder to all you seniors out there, and no, I'm not talking about 65 and older, your senior pages are due today. The yearbook staff wants to remind all seniors that they will lose their place in the publication unless their pages are turned in by the end of the school day. Contact the yearbook staff or Mr. Molnar himself for more information. And for all you middle schoolers, don't forget, your 2013 winter dance is tomorrow. Earlier I spoke with Bailey and Antonia. I'm shorter than I usually am, and I'm here talking to two middle school students to talk about the middle school dance. Now what is that? It is, it is the middle school dance. Yeah, and is there a certain theme or? It's gonna be red carpet theme. Red carpet theme? And is there a price of admission? Seven dollars at the door. And five dollars if you purchase ahead of time from Miss Shanahan. You can find Miss Shanahan in her office or the math room, usually. Okay, and um, other incentives besides dancing at this dance? Um, there will be food, pizza. Um, oh, and if you can't be picked up, like after school and before the dance, there will be a movie and activities, like at school. Yes. You guys have anything else you'd like to say? The um, dance is this Friday, March 1st. 7 to 10 p.m. in Where, Stewart Hall. Stewart Hall, thank Stewart you. Hall. What else could you ask for? Come on down to the middle school dance. Be a starlet for a night. Wow, that sounds like a lot of fun. It's the happiest time of the year again with finals looming just out of reach. For all middle school and high school students, the trimester two final exam season is about to be underway. Tests will take place from Tuesday of next week and continue until Thursday. Today, Friday and Monday, we'll all have special schedules. For more information and exact class times, please refer to the Pilgrim iCal calendar. A final schedule will be sent to your Pilgrim iCal accounts as well. They will also be posted on the ASB board in the hours to come. Coming up, we'll preview Pilgrim School's spring athletics, take a look into this year's Black History Museum, and continue with another look at Pilgrim School's music department. But first, a word from our friends at Pilgrim's Literary Magazine. Hello, I am from the creative writing class. Was a lit mag, you ask? I shall answer. A lit mag is a magazine in which fine art is published. If you'd like to be in the lit mag, then please contact us. We're looking for art, photographs, fiction, creative essays, poetry, drama, screenplays, and video and or animation. This lit mag will be published both in print and on the internet for your viewing pleasure. How do you submit such a work of art, you ask? You simply email the Saucy Artistic Pride to pilgrimlitvac2013 at gmail.com. The deadline for such an event is April 12th. Oh, before I forget, don't forget to check the ASB board for guidelines. See you all there. Or else. So remember, get your submission in as soon as possible. Shifting into sixth, it's that time of the week where we feature a member of the Pilgrim School Music Department. Starting last week, we took a closer look into an original piece composed by Tyler Wade. We continue this week with a look into John Rewald's piece. This was our first real composition. I mean, the class is composed of Jacob, myself, and James Stepani. We, uh, it's a very small class. And this was our first real project. Uh, we, up until the, the point of the project, we'd just been learning how to harmonize certain chords, and we just used the project that we just had <clears throat> to combine, what all we, combine all that we learned into one single thing. It took me a couple days before I got the piano version, and then it took me another day um, that day Mr. Tro was absent to create the band arrangement and then uh, ever since I've been tweaking the band arrangement. Thanks John. This month was Black History Month and as usual Pilgrim parents and students descended upon Barnum Room and built this year's Black History Museum. 
Let's go to Inside the Black History Museum with Drew Robinson. Hello, I am Colette Foster Groves, proud Pilgrim parent, and I am the co-director with Terry Knox the past two years for the Black History Museum. The importance of the Black History Museum is, of course, to study Black history. This month in February, we are honored to have about a week to celebrate the African American experience. And why is that important? Well, Pilgrim is a multicultural school, and we all celebrate all of our specialness all together. So that's why I am honored the past few years to work with this event. The is in its fifth year. We've been doing it for, for two years, just wanted to make sure that the, uh, what was started by another parenthood leave is, is continued. So um, basically it's just a matter of um, organizing the parents to uh, submit and, and donate um, property, exhibits that they have, things that they have in their homes that will um, you know, inform and, and entertain and enlighten people and we put it together. Make sure to check it out before tomorrow because that's when it'll be closing. Baseball and tennis and track, oh my. Let's go to Jake with sports. Last week was the end of the Patriots winter sports season. So you know what that means? the start of the Patriots spring sports season. Let's take a look at what the Patriots are doing to prepare for their fast approaching games. Looking good Patriots. Tune in next week for a review on the Patriots first 2013 baseball game coming this Friday. I'm Jake Glavin with Pilgrim Sports, and I'm out. This week's Pilgrim of the Week is not one person, but the whole faculty staff. The period 5 7th grade history class has sent in a nomination from the students. The facilities are the facility staff are very nice and helpful. They clap for us when we have band. They're friendly and generous, and they're awesome. Thanks to Ms. Salter's 7th grade history class for their nomination. If any of you have anyone you'd like to nominate for next week's Pilgrim of the Week, then just send us the person's name and the reason you're nominating them. We have a full-time staff working to receive your nominations at pilgrimoftheweek at gmail.com. Thanks. I'm sorry to announce that you won't be able to watch a new episode of The Ships In next week due to the presence of those triannual exams we all love so much. We here at the Ships Inn will miss you all dearly, but we'll see you soon.